Hey folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder. Another beautiful day. I know I always say that, but I'm just dreading the heat that's coming. I'm a South Carolina boy. I grew up here, but uh, I hate the heat. It's weird, but I still love the people. How about that? Been waiting for this neighborhood to come by for a long time. It's for Real Time Homes. Uh, they just picked it up after another builder, I guess, just decided it was better to sell out and let somebody else do it. Um, but I've been in uh, one of their neighborhoods before up in North Carolina. This is Austin. This is the townhome community in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And I just got trapped by the blankety blanking gate. Sorry about that. We're about to walk into a Georgia. Uh, I will find out when I have a chance to speak with the on-site if the Georgia is always the end units or if they uh, flip-flop and do some other ones. But this is a pretty big one. It's uh, their second to largest one, and I love the loft upstairs. And I was really looking forward to seeing these homes because Tennyson up in North Carolina with real-time, they had some unique floor plans, and I, I tell you, I liked them, but uh, that's me sometimes. I come into these uh, so often, and it's just, uh, like I've said before, and I hate I'm boring people on videos, when I should just be looking at the, the product. But when something's a little bit different, man, I get excited. I get excited. So this is the Georgia. Primary room on the main, so that's where you're gonna see the uh, laundry room on the main floor. It's gonna be kind of a tight squeeze if you're used to big ones. Half bath, rarely do it on single family, but like to see it on townhomes. These are typically a little smaller. Main room. I think the way they're doing it, again, I haven't had a chance to talk a lot with the on-site. If there's an on-site, I think there will be. I thought I met him at Tennyson, to be quite frank with you. Um, so they're selling these right now straight inventory. They just popped a couple up and invited everybody out to take a look at them. I think that was this weekend. I was just tied up. Sometimes I will show up at these uh, open houses just for folks, just to come out, take a look at a neighborhood. You wanna hear what people say, you know? My opinion is one person. Somebody get a little bit of mix. What people like, what they don't. This will be the primary master bathroom. Nice closet. I also love seeing the new guys come in. Uh, some of these big boys think they can throw their weight around. Just decide what everybody else is gonna get and do. And uh, quite frankly, that gets a little tiresome. That might be because I'm primarily a buyer's agent. <laughs> I'm actually an uh, honest home seller too. That just goes to a landing page. Kind of gives you an idea of what I do there. Same kind of discount. That's my niche. So definitely at the top of your screen, if you're interested in these, ask me about my rebate or what I'm calling now, buyer's incentive, buyer concession. I'm gonna say these are a little over 2,000 square feet. If this is what you're gonna get. So if they're selling these, I think the fence is gonna be around all of them. Again, guessing a little bit before I can specifically ask questions. As I thought at first, they were just gonna have a row of um, model homes. That's why they put the fence up, because they do have four floor plans. But the, the, the ones on this row with the fence up already are gonna be inventory. Like this one is for sale. Got the garage before we hit up. Two car alley garages. 
At least that's what I call them. Pretty sure a lot of other people do too, as far as alley part. Right, boys and girls, let's head on up. Hey ho folks, made it up, made it up. Love that foyer. Don't wanna have to clean it, but I think it looks cool as hell. I'll do the whole spin around. Don't be surprised by this. This is one of the biggest townhome lofts I've ever seen. I'm, I'm really confident on making that statement. And I've seen a bunch. Secondary bedroom, it's gonna be a Jack and Jill. I left the fan on, middle in size. But you know my views, I'm paying the rent, or the mortgage I should say. You don't complain about the size of the rooms, especially when you have a walk-in closet. And I forgot to turn on. Definitely fit what you need to in here. I think, again, me, 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 I, I, I. and the shared bathroom. You see me wearing this green shirt a lot in these videos. It's because I think I look amazing in this color. <laughs> All right, a linen closet. And we'll just hop right out into the other bedroom. I would guess these are just about the exact same size. I said they're doable. Remember that uh, sometimes pictures and videos make rooms a little bit smaller than they are. Comfortable in a walk-in closet. I tease about the closet sometimes because I've seen $500,000 homes have just the, the double doors with the rack. You know what I'm talking about. All on what you want and what you need. Isn't that right, boys and girls? If every town home here has a yard, front yard like that. That'd be sweet. Sorry, sticking my head around looking. Big old loft. I dig this feature. I don't know why. Again, some weird things amuse me. That's where your hot water heater is. Kaboom. Do not store anything else in there. Okay, this is the door, Georgia. Right time homes, Austin, Rock Hill, South Carolina. Top of the screen, guys, don't forget it.